Hello friends and welcome back or welcome to Venice Sports Show. And welcome back to everybody's favorite episode. Don't be stupid. Today we're gonna be talking about if I respect the hobby. So as always, stand up, stretch out, cause we we go. Alright, guys, today someone mentioned last week I don't respect the hobby. So that's something we're going to discuss today. I got a list for you, things I'm going to go over. But first, contest. Paul's Stupid Contest. Uh, 2,000 subscribers. We've got the 1991 Stadium Club box, 1 to 2,000. Comment down below. 87 box for May. 1B to 300B for the 87 box of Dunruss, Bo Jackson, Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds rookie, um, Anthony Richardson card. Give that away. That was 1A to 25A. If you picked 8A or lower, the closest two without going over is the winner of the Anthony Richards card. So comment down below. Let me know you won and I'll get a hold of you. We'll get that to you. Uh, coming up. Things coming up this week. Um, got orders coming back. I know I did the Michael Harris and the Adley Rushman National Convention cards I sent out. The Adley Rushman came is coming back in eight. So that's going to be the pop-up giveaway is the Adley Rushman National Convention uh, sports card convention cards coming up. This weekend, uh, May the 11th, the uh, Kalamazoo Expo Center um, from 10 to 3, 9 to 3, somewhere in there. I'm going to be up there. Going to have one uh, case of cards. And... Uh, a few other things going to be doing some filming it is a big show so if you can get up to the expo center in kalamazoo this weekend uh, nine to three we'll be up there it should be a great show and as always guys remember don't be stupid all right last uh, couple weeks people been whining and crying uh about the whole neo thing guys don't be stupid I was told down below, you know, about not some said something about me not respecting the hobby. So I'm going to explain to you, you're right. I don't respect this hobby, so don't be stupid. And I'm going to explain to you why. First, Neo. All you guys are uh, like swinging from the dick of Neo, swinging from his nuts. The guy trimmed the card. The guy's bad for the hobby. The guy has let thousands of people know that. Trimming and altering cards is okay. Even if he says he don't do it, he has implied that it's okay. And for thousands of people that have watched him are now cleaning cards. So if you ask me, do I respect a hobby that has a self-proclaimed person uh, spreading misinformation on a hobby? And I'm going to get to this. A hobby that not that I love, that I, that I created. I'm one of the old guys. Me and my uncle created this hobby. And we left it in people's hands like you guys. And you guys are destroying it. So, Neo, I'm on your ass, friend. Don't be stupid. So, I don't respect the hobby that has self-proclaimed people putting out misinformation. So, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. I don't respect the hobby. Tops. They just put out a video with Santiago Sports. Just, oh, look at this young 26-year-old. Look how well he does. They show it a shop. Wall-to-wall -wall allocation. People are like, 8 hey, hey, mint cards. Uh, he's the best, young guy. Guys, don't be stupid. Now, I don't subscribe to this SCV guy or whatever, but occasionally I watched him. You give that guy as much allocation as you give these other guys, he'd have the same kind of shot. Don't be stupid. It has nothing to do with these jackasses and who they are. They get allocation. If you get allocation, you can run a shot. No, I am. I have no respect for a hobby where Tops has given all of its allocation to who it wants. Now, if you're financially stable and can run a business, you should get allocation. Tops print more. I don't have respect for a hobby where the people printing the product are controlling it and manipulating it. So no, I don't have respect for the hobby. So don't be stupid. Then. You get people like Jeff Wilson. He did a video about a week or two ago 
Some mom walk in with her kid's birthday and they sell them a $2,000 box of cards. Some kid. The mom has no idea what it's about. And she just wants to make her spoiled little kid happy. Great. For then Jeff, knowing that there was a few and far in between, to push it off on some kid who has high hopes of hitting a big hit, don't be stupid. No, I do not respect the hobby that does that. You're right, friend. So don't be stupid. I don't respect the hobby that cleans cards. You get all these people from the comic books and this and that. Don't be stupid. This is a sports card hobby. Once again, I started this hobby for you guys. You're welcome. Don't be stupid. Me and my uncle, years and years and years, starting this hobby, leave it in the hands of people like you who wants to clean cards. People that come in from comic books and this and that. Don't be stupid. No, I do not respect the hobby that allows this. Guys, this is why I'm back. To kick down the fences, to ruffle feathers, to make people mad. I hope you're mad. Because it's time to clean up a hobby. This hobby should have millions and millions of people in it. Top should be printing the crap out of these cards because they can't even keep them. They're selling out. But no, over the years, you guys have destroyed it. You guys have said it's investments, and I loved it. I wanted to get to this one. I told the gentleman he is part of the problem, and he says, no, he's not. He invests in vintage. He gave me the example of a 1951 Bowman, Willie Mays. How it's went from 20000 to 50000 and it was a great investment. This is why I don't respect the hobby or you, friends. This is why I don't respect you. You take your $20,000 Willie Mays, and then you got to pay your taxes and everything. So you didn't pay $20,000. You paid more than $20,000. Probably twenty two, twenty three, dollars if you bought it in 2019. Then we went through COVID and inflation. And I preached, go back, I preached about the uh, purchasing power of your money. You say you can sell it for $50,000. Well, the hobby's changed since 2019. You're only getting 80% if you're lucky. So you're only going to get about $38,000, Fred, nowadays, because no one pays full price. You say, well, I'm up $18,000. No, you're not, because you just sold on eBay and they just took 15%. They just took 10 grand for you. You're down about 29,000, friend. You're like, well, I made $9,000 in five years. No, you didn't. Inflation has went up 24.9% since 2019. All that 50,000, that's $10,000. You are down $1,000 in purchasing power in the last five years. So don't be stupid. No, I don't respect the hobby and people like you that preach that these are investments. That's what's hurting the hobby. You're hurting the hobby, and I told you this, because people get into this thinking they're investments, find out a year or two later that they just wasted thousands of dollars on nothing. And you, my friend, are one of the morons that bought into this lie a long time ago and have spent so much money that you can't say it's not an investment anymore. You've passed that point of stupidity. So don't be stupid. It's not an investment. I don't respect this hobby because of that and, and much more. I could go on and on. I've got this paper full of examples why I don't respect this hobby. Now, I hope people stand up and start doing the right thing. You want to know what I do respect? I respect people like, well, let's get to this. What do I respect? I respect the people because in videos before, I've said it. The hobby is the people. It has nothing to do with PSA or top. I'm not one of those guys at the conference sitting in the stand and one of these people walk, walk out on the stand. Yeah, you're so great. You're so... I talked to this Jackie Terrell lady and someone tells me, oh, show her respect. Don't be stupid. I ain't showing people respect when they control the pop count, when they manipulate grades. I have never talked bad about PSA, but after my phone call with her last Thursday, don't be stupid. This hobby's a joke. It's a long running joke, and I thought maybe it could change, but it's not going to. It's everyone's trying to rip off everyone. Everyone's greedy, and you say, well, don't you want? No, I don't need to make money, friends. I've got a real job and a real life. 
I want to do this for the people. Get back to the people. What do I respect? I respect people like JT, Triple Crown, 24 Sports. I always get that wrong. Does the right thing no matter what. I respect people like Detroit City Cards. When I think something's a 9, he speaks up. No, that's a 10, friend. I'm not going to rip you off. I respect the people every weekend that I see at these shows, driving an hour or two hours, setting up, being there on time, never missing a show. Always bringing good product, the best they can, what they have, always making deals, always being fair. And you guys know who I'm talking about. So don't be stupid. I see you all the time. You guys are good people, and I like interacting with you. This past weekend, I didn't show as much sales. I want to take that out of my content. I want to just show the people. The last few weeks, I want to show the people. I want to show what the hobby's about. All this big flashy crap. That, that's not what's going on out there, guys. These neos, these sports card dads, these... They're just reading news off Twitter and spitting it out to you guys, and you're buying it. So no, I don't respect the hobby that lies to the hobby. I respect good people that tell the truth. I respect these guys that go out and do shows and come back and tell what happened. I respect the guys that are living it and then come out and show what happened. I respect that side of the hobby, the people doing the right thing. But no, I don't respect the hobby. Top, no. Panini, no. PSA, no. SGC, no. That's not the hobby. I have no respect for them. I give them money. They show me respect. I'm not going to throw money at a company and then beg them to be good to me. I'm going to throw money at a company and demand them be good to me. Demand them do the right thing. And if they don't, like in this situation, you got two choices. Quit using them or exploit their lies. Now, I will use what they do. After talking to Jackie Corral, and after sending cards in for a year, I know how to get 10s, the majority of 10s. When to send the cards in. When they want to see them. I understand when they quit giving 10s and start giving more 9s now. At what point that is. I understand how they put their data together to control the pop count. After talking to Jackie Carell, the woman I'm supposed to respect, who manipulates pop count and then tries to defend it, Guys, if you don't mean to maintain the public trust as a grading company, your days are numbered. I keep telling you guys, these aren't investments, so don't think they're investments. If you got cards in PSA slabs now, I know right now it's fine, but here's my bold prediction. They will fall to the wayside. Your PSA 10 is going to be like an HGA or whatever one day, and someone else is going to take their spot. Because someone's going to maintain the public trust in grading. And they will be the ones to come out on top. And you'll be cracking your slabs and sending them to them one day. So guys, do I respect the hobby? Don't be stupid. No, I don't. I don't respect what's going on in a lot of the hobby. A lot of these elitists telling lies. You guys oh. hook, line, and sinker. Ah, I want to swing from your nuts. Because I want to meet you at a show and tell you how cool you are. You know what? I've met these guys at shows. I'm not impressed. So, let me know, guys, what you think. Comment down below. You respect the hobby? Let me know. Peace.